So here in Valencia we also have this uh, futuristic looking kind of uh, city of science and art it's called. And that there is the Oceanarium, one of the attractions. I went there, ooh, the last time I went there was 2006 I think, during my school exchange here in Valencia, one of my first uh, real encounters with proper Spanish culture. And we went to the other, so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tour of uh, what they are. And there's this blue whale looking thingy, quite natural looking. Uh, this wasn't here in 2006 when I came, it was built in 2009 in fact. It's a multi-purpose kind of concert venue, cultural venue where you'll find all sorts of events under normal times when we're not uh, all locked up in our homes scared of the virus. There's this uh, glass around the side giving a nice natural light inside. I've never been to anything there, maybe it'd be nice to go one day. And this big golf ball thing is part of the Oceanarium. Obviously the Oceanarium is one of the bigger parts of this uh, complex because you need lots of space, you've got to keep all the, all the fish apart, you've got to keep the predators and the prey apart from each other I guess. And then here you have the end of the Gardens of Turia. Go check out my video about uh, why Turia Garden is one of my favourite parks in the whole of Spain, in fact my favourite park in Spain. And this is the end of the park basically down near the coastal and some people dancing. Nice and fun, with masks on. This one's the Science Museum. Nice memories of here. I don't remember much of the museum inside, I remember thinking that it was quite bare compared to the museums back home in London. But I have good memories of the friends I was with at the time. We were learning Spanish together in my Spanish class back at uh, school. We had a nice trip here and I never thought back then that the next time I would come to this area would be during a pandemic and it would be a place for vaccinating people. And this structure here is the Umbracla. It has lots of uh, plant species indigenous to Valencia, to the region. Nice place for a quick walk. And then they've got this red squiggle statue in the middle. Beautiful. Then this one here is the Hemispheric, the IMAX cinema, one of these 3D kind of cinemas. I went in there back in 2006 as well and they had this uh, big projection up on a kind of uh, sphere on the inside. And this one is the Palace of Arts, kind of like a fine arts museum named after Queen Reina Sofia of Spain of course. I've never been in there, maybe I'll go one day. What do you think of this architecture? Is it in keeping with uh, a city like this? Is it nice to have this kind of futuristic stuff or is it a bit naff? I think it looked cool back when I was 16 years old and I came here as a student. Now, ah, it's not exactly what I want from a city. It feels a bit kind of false, a bit fake. But it's still interesting. I guess it attracts people to the region. And it's iconic to look at as well. When I look at this, I know it's Valencia and I'm sure many of you do as well. Okay guys from Valencia, take care. Look after yourselves. I just met some new subscribers.